So today I want to talk about minimalism because a lot of countries around the world, internet is really not that fast. And if you make a website that looks like this here, um, you know, they're not really going to be able to download it and view it. And all of this information here, which is by the way, Vincent Lab, uh, you can core down to a pretty basic uh, website. This is a bug I gotta fix, I don't know, but yeah, there we go. But we can core this down to a more basic website. So today's video is going to be taking this website here and converting it into this website here. So it conveys the same amount of information. However, there's a, some stuff that I have cut out, but you know, it, it's the basic website and it has um, you know, there's basic reads on what Vincent Lab is and who I am, and it has some keep in touch links, and it has a few inspired here because also something I want to talk about today is why I made this project here. And the whole reason why I made this project here is this guy here named Chris. And you can see his website here is pretty much, it looks identical to mine kind of just copied his style. I thought that his way of explaining it and his way of, of arguing that, you know, a more basic website is better uh, was a really, really good point and something which I wanted to share and cover. So you can see if you read his site here, why he decided to go back to a basic HTML and CSS. You can read his article, we'll leave the link down below. But some of the main things he highlights is text-to-speech, text-only browsers, low internet connection, and also easy usability. I think everyone can figure out how to navigate this website. But this website here needs a lot of explaining on how to navigate it. You can press this button, this button, this button. You can do this here, you can do this here. You can like what, like it's, it's, it's just like, you can do this here. You can do a whole lot of stuff to get the information that you want. And if you just want to read who am I and what's Vincent Lab, well, I mean, it's not more simple than going on to a URL, reading this, oh, I want to read a little, little bit more, reading this, oh, what blocks has he, okay, this here. It's like, it's a way easier for you as a person, even though it doesn't look as, as pretty, way easier to both view on a low internet connection and also just, it's just easier for you to just view it. So this video is going to be a little bit rambling, but it, you know, I just want to share this here and I thought it was a pretty interesting concept of like minimizing your website because we're talking so much about new frameworks. It has to be, you know, more fancy and more fancy, but really does it have to be more and more fancy? I don't think so. I think we can go back to the basics. This website here and this information here, it conveys the same amount of information. So let me take a look at some numbers here. So. This is the website here that we're looking on here. So this is the minimized version and this is the Vincent Lab, the full website. Now, obviously Vincent Lab has a lot more features, like it has messaging center services and mail lists and a bunch of stuff and an admin panel and therefore it, it is bigger. But you can see that it is a significant change over here. Like you can see that there's a quite a big difference. So if you are doing some free hosting, well, you might not even be able to host this up here, but this would be relatively easy for you to find some free hosting. And then you could just purchase a domain name or get a free domain name. And you could really easily get this static website up on the internet where something like this, which is written in Angular would probably become a bit more difficult to put up on the internet. So another page I want to mention here is this website here. Read it. It is extremely funny and it highlights a lot of the issues that I've been talking about today. And uh, it just does it in a really, really funny way. And another person that also does coding, Coding Garden, has also done a more minimalistic setup. You know, there's still an icon and if we refresh this, you can see that it animates and stuff like that. But it's still a pretty minimalistic setup. And uh, I, I really like that. I know I haven't done it for Vincent Lab, but I didn't think about it. And uh, I think a really cool task, if you have some time, like an hour or so, and you already have a website, is to take your website and convert it into a style like this. I'll leave uh, some of the code down below on a GitHub under this video. So you can take a look at some of the styles and copy it yourself or even make it yourself, just HTML and CSS. And you don't really need too much to display this. And the last website I want to mention is this here. If we just, okay, if we just do this here, yeah, it's not a perfect website, but if we hit on here, if you want to have a website, and this is a really good one, I would highly recommend you to read up on this and what it actually is. 
But essentially what it is, it's a pretty easy way of making a text-based web page for people that doesn't have access to hosting their code and have a fast connection. And so we can hear the voice of everyone around the world. I think this is a really cool project. And also, if you have a little bit more talent in HTML and you want to share your message, this can be a really good way of doing it without overcomplicating it and still being able to host it for free. And now we're on Vincent Lab, so we actually have to talk about the environment. This website here, if I would have hosted this instead of the current Vincent Lab, this website would have been way more environmental friendly because it takes up way less resources. And you might say, well, I mean, it's a website. How much damage can it do? Uh, well, this one website probably wouldn't do so much damage. But if everyone had basic text-based uh, web pages, we would be able to really cut down on the energy usage that we are currently today using on just well like this web page says i think he says like a yeah buck shadows and uh, i'm not gonna read out loud what he says because well you can probably read why but you know just a bunch of fancy animations and you're just you know adding a giant logo or some jquery scroll plugin and that does end up using a lot of power on the long run and if a lot of people use it so i think we have to be more aware of that as well and also do you really need more than this it is much simpler for i think everyone to just see this website and read what vincent lab is about see a few articles how to get in touch it doesn't really need any big explainer you know however this does so i i don't know if i'm i will convert vincent lab to be this basic here but i definitely like the concept but i want to stop this video here because i have been rambling for a while now and th this is just you know i just wanted to get this out here minimize your websites to make it more environmental friendly to make it easier for text to speech to make it accessible to everyone in the world that has a slow internet connection or maybe not even a internet connection at all and has to rely on like a public library with a really slow internet connection or text browsers there are browsers that only shows text and if you don't have a lot of text well then it can't show it and the last point i want to make obviously you can include images i have decided not to but you can obviously if you're showing some artwork you can obviously show images it wouldn't be so convenient to show just text see here i have an image so if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully I see you in the next one.